Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Many a True Nerd. This is Harry Potter, Lego Harry Potter, to be precise, uh, the specific iteration we're playing. Uh, and we're going to do book two, but first, first we're going to have a look around Diagon Alley. First, we're just going to have a quick look around uh, all of Diagon Alley. Ooh, wizarding equipment. Oh, maybe we can. What is that? What the? Slugless Eructo. What even Rictus is this? Sempra. It's the laughing spell. Tantalegra is the dancing spell. Locomotor Mortis locks your uh, limbs in place. I was about to say that makes the dead walk. Excellent. Walking dead. Here we go. We can afford several of these. Can't move. I don't know if that will work in enemies or if this is just for trolling our friends. Tantalegra is funny for trolling our friends. Done. Woo, Cushing. Okay. Turn people to ice. Which is quite good. Give people erections. <laughs> well, what do you what do you get out of that icon that's not cause erections? Well, I was cause immediate I embarrassing was erections. Say, uh, but bind them up, but you know it is. Actually... I feel like we should take stupefy. Yes, it's an actually should. useful thing. I kind of feel like whether it stupefies or doesn't depends on what is highlighted at any given moment. Yeah. Because it flicks between the two, so now they either oh, dance wow. or end up stupefied. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This is now Harry Potter's thing. Hey. You, you either dance or you're stupefied. It could be either of these. Yes, everybody dance. Everybody goddamn dance. Harry, no, I'm doing a thing. Fuck's sake. Yes, you are doing a thing. It's called getting down. Bum, 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 bum. Is this Gringotts? Again? Yeah, you can go back in and get more money for yourself. Well, I need it. I deserve it. I am I am Harry Potter. Okay, let's let's let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the bonus stuff. Yeah, let's let's look yeah. at bonus stuff. What the so this is from like the beginning of book three, Oh I... wow, look, we've got way more spells. Huh? What the heck is all this spell? Do you have to cause just a hundred thousand of damage? I guess? Is that what that means? Is this just Harry Potter destroys the universe? I think so. Alright then! It's like a Sims Harry Potter destruction. Oh look! I'm running! I'm driving an ice cream truck! Really? What? Do you not know that that's what Rupert Grint did with a lot of his money when yeah, he turned 18 and bought an ice cream truck? What? And drives around in London sometimes just handing people candy for free because he doesn't really need the money. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh wow. There's, Hello dear. There's, there's some good... Yeah. Oh no, is yours starting to glow red? Oh that's a terrible shame. I'd hate to have destroyed your ice cream truck. Come back. <laughs> you won't get away aside from by successfully getting away. Yes. Oh, I found a car. I may have slightly just broken the car. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Oh, you can you get on that thing? Oh yeah, you can. Oh hello, where even are you? Are you down? I'm down there. Oh, you stop messing with my boss. Mhm. Mm so long, loser. Okay, if I can, I knock you out. No. I think you might be trapped in there. I couldn't get out of there before. Oh. Okay, hang on. Let me get a good run up. I might be able to ram you free. Turn yourself sideways if you can. Like like that? No, the other way. Like uh, 90 degrees to where you are now. Okay, good. Really good run up. I'm going to be fine. Like that? Yeah, like that. All right, all right. We're going to ramp. We're going to get the bus free. Come on. No. Oh. Okay, I'll, wait, have to take, I'll have to take an angled line at you. Wait. I'm trying. That's not bad. That's not bad? Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, we'll see if we can do this. Uh, out of the way, clap! No. That bus ain't getting out of there. Ooh. <gasps> Got the purple! That's 10,000 each. Okay. That might be worth trying to... Oh, that's... That, oh. That's enough for us to open. Okay, we've got a gold brick for that. Go. John, can you lift the bench because I'm stuck? No. Did you make me breakdance and get me? Maybe. Dead? Now that we have a breakdancing stupefy spell, how will you expect me to do anything <laughs> but this? Right, shall we actually do like the first little bit of book two? 
Like maybe up to getting to Hogwarts or Quarter Park, and we've done quite a lot of yeah. stuff that's just nothing but Diagon Alley. Yes, begin book two. Sorry, year two. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, there's going to be Lego Dobby. Of course there is. Mm -hmm. Hey Dobby. What? How dare you? That's kind of creepy. Man, I hope he dies in a later book. Oh, lucky that. Convenient. There's the car. Which you now have plenty of experience driving thanks to the bonus level. Yes. I find it... I find <laughs> it I'm very glad they're addressing that because in the book they uh, they open the, the... They take the bars out of the window. Yes. And that doesn't wake up the Dursley. Yeah. But then they forget about Hedwig. And she cries and that wakes up the Dursleys. Which is ridiculous. Well, Uncle Vernon just fell to his death, so... Woo! Awesome. Whoa! I never... Really? The bar, I never thought the burrow looked like that. I was thought it was a bit more ramshackle than that. Yeah, well... That looks like it's actually an intended piece of architecture. Oh! Oh, here we are. Alright, who's who? Oh, yeah, I'm Harry. Alright, we're gnome spinning. This is because gnomes are supposed to, like, be good at uh, finding their way home, so you've got to confuse them before you toss them away, right? Yes. Yeah, you could do denoming, or you could just build your own tractor. Oh, this is a much better, this is a much more efficient method of gnoming. Come, Ron! <laughs> Come back, Ron! I'm not trying to kill you! Come <laughs> on, I'm trying to denome the garden. Please. I'm denoming in a much more permanent and effective fashion. Do you want to talk to my giant pumpkin truck? Yes, I do. <laughs> you wonder why I don't like doing co-op games with you. Toot toot. All about the pumpkin express. That's Mr. Winsley's shed. Yeah. Which should have... It doesn't look like a shed. It looks like a RAF bunker. Yeah, but it is where he, like... Oh, I just found a 10,000 one. What? There was just a no. 10,000 one here. Look, look, look how rich I am versus you. It's like a representation of the real Harry Potter. Everybody dance now. Dance. I said dance. No, not stupefy. That's more like it. Oh, I missed all the money. Because <laughs> I was too busy humiliating my friends. Should we go inside the burrow? Yes. Flu powder. No, already. Apparently we're fluing, though I, I'd suggest we trash the house first. Yes. Oh, that's presumably for you, because I'm not a Weasley. Uh, that's a portrait. Yeah, but you, there was a B. No, but I Oh, they want I Ginny. They want it. Ginny. They, they want Ginny. Ginny! Where the hell are you? Well, she was hiding from you. We can't see any way to like build like a ladder up here or no. anything. Dude, you're not building a ladder to my sister's bedroom. Uh, not, not in this book, anyway. <laughs> Maybe if I put my invisibility cloak on and then take the ladder up to Ginny's bedroom. Oh, here she is. Hello, Ginny. Okay, alright, so yeah, now you can go there. What? Was she there all along? Uh, flu powder. Oh, flu powder, yeah, okay. Flu powder! Which apparently this just launches you up the chimney into space. So how are they going to handle co-op when the whole point of this is Harry's supposed to be alone? But maybe one of us can be Borgin or Malfoy. Or that skeleton. Hey Hagrid, let me, give me a hand with this, would you? Okay, so the whole um, this is a terrifying environment thing is, is officially done. We are now just playing in, uh, in this environment. Oh, random screaming. Oh. Oh, Gilderoy. Urgh. Subtle. Ooh, Sartre with the creepy, with the terrifying face on the front. Mm -hmm. And she even saw it and was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> My cunning plan that everyone saw me do. Hmm? Yeah. Just just in case the the book wasn't clear enough on what was going on, we actually have to have Dobby show up and say, ha 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 ha. What if we actually get to do any of this or if this is just going to be a very quick cutscene? No. Hey, where's the one pink willow, you bastards? Presumably coming up. Oh, excellent. Okay, as I say, you can't cut. Wow, good spark. As I say, you really can't cut that bit out. That's kind of important. 
The one pink willow does look kind of more like a piece of industrial machinery right now. Oh, Ron, your wand. It's so sad, it just makes you want to dance. Okay, so... Oh, oh yeah! What? Yeah! What? You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Is it wasn't stupefy how you were supposed to deal with the pixies in Bottom yeah, 2. Because you've got stupefy. Just bounced off the pixies into me. Oh, that's excellent. I made some a slight case of reverse, yeah, it's pixie backfire. Look. What? Well, what the the Where'd you get the head from? A bush. Hogwarts is creepy sometimes. Just a corpse in the bush. Oh, oh, Colin's following me around. Yay, Colin. I'm assuming he only follows me around. If I now move to Ron, he just keeps following Harry. That's quite cute. Hey, Colin, take a picture of this. Woo, bullying. Wait, oh, this is still here. Colin, come back and accept your inevitable plunging. Now, presumably, this will be about Mandrake repotting. Yes. Press B in front of a wardrobe to get your... Ah, earmuffs. That's what the wardrobe is for. You shot someone, didn't you? Yes. I have my earmuffs on. Now, apparently I messed that up. Come on. Yes. Right, one more to get. You just trash the room while I'm doing that. Okay. I'll just, I'll just point it at Ron. Yeah, Ron. How'd you like that? How'd you like being turned to stone, Ron? Wait, hang on. Do they turn them to stone? Do they cure being people being turned to stone? They cure people being turned to stone. Oh yes. Now we can find a cupboard. Then deal with... Well, okay, cupboard. We need to find a cupboard. Excuse me. Yes. While I smash some shit. Now, I think... Yeah, everyone's now happy with the situation. Go on, give me a pile of money. I don't want your appreciation. I want your money. I'm Harry Potter. Well, ah, yes. Mandrake. We just need to find a cupboard. We need to find a cupboard so we can carry that mandrake over towards the wall. Right, and hopefully I should be able to There's a pot, it. yeah. There's a pot up there. All right, shall we do one Gilderoy Lockhart lesson? Yeah, mm -hmm. go on then. <laughs> Beauty pixies. Oh, do you need to a freezy spell? You need like a freeze spell. Oh yeah. Wow, he just straight up murdered that pixie. That was not a stunning spell, that was a murder spell. So, press B. Okay, so we picked up our freeze pixie spell. This is actually our first defense against the dark art lesson, really, isn't it? We never actually had one in year one. We never had a single lesson with Quirrell. All right. All right, we've met Gilder. I think that's probably enough of a part for the first yes. part of uh, of this bit, anyway. But yes, uh, we will be cracking on with this at some point or other. Uh, but in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been Many a True Nerd. And this has been Harry Potter years one through four. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Goodbye.